Hey everyone, in this video today I have the eDiag Elite by King Bolin. What I like about this one is that you can do a full system diagnostic on a vehicle and there's a couple of maintenance functions. Notice there I have it plugged in. It's just this OBD reader that's tiny and then you have all of the applications and everything on the phone side. Mine is running on an iPhone 15 right now, but it also works on Android. So now stepping into the all system diagnostic, I'm able to select my own vehicle and then get a health report done on it. So right now it's looking beyond typical modules. Typically an OBD reader will show you just the engine codes, which are the P codes. But this actually looks beyond that. It's looking at things like air conditioning, occupant detection, pre-crash, even lane departure, lane assist, doors and windows and everything like that. So now looking through this, these are all the modules that it scanned. And you can see in most of them, there's no fault codes except for this one where I have two fault codes in the combination meter. Despite those codes popping up, there is no check engine lights because it's nothing wrong with the engine. It's something else beyond the engine. So now that we've looked through all the different modules that are possible, we're going to now tap back onto the two error codes that I have just to show you what happens there. And now if I look at the fault report, I can see where the abnormal and abnormal areas are. So all of these are normal, 26 modules, and there's one that's abnormal. And if I look into it a bit more, I'm able to see specifically the trouble code and why that is what it is by doing a quick search on Google. Aside from this, I can see if the check engine light is on or off. I can also see the readiness monitors. If it's showing all complete and no, none that are not completed, that means I can pass emissions today. So this will help me figure that out. And lastly, I'm able to check off a couple of things. I like to look specifically at distance traveled since DTCs are cleared. So if the check engine light is currently off on a car, this will tell me exactly how long it's traveled since the last check engine light. So if there's such a big distance, this tells me this car has been running very good for a long time. And now I'm scrolling through all the make supported. Lots of Chinese manufacturers, some German, some American. But all the primary manufacturers that are operating in the US are here. And also some that are a bit more out of the way, like Maserati is in here too. So now here we are going through the maintenance. You can download each separate module and each of these do have a certain set of makes that they support. So even though you saw some in the diagnostic section, not all of them apply in the maintenance section. For example, for Maserati, I have another reader that's able to reset that, but this one is not able to do it for the car. If I were to do a recap of this, this is a device that you want to have on you if you want to shop for vehicles just to make sure that it's good and you can actually see that it's good from all the different modules. Other than that, maintenance is good, although a bit finicky. Otherwise, it's definitely one to pick up and have in your arsenal. It's portable, not as bulky as other things as well. That's it.